This hilly region near Malmstrom Air Force Base, noted largely for its wheat and cattle ranches, was selected in July 1964 as the site for a squadron of Minuteman II missiles to be co-located with the existing Minuteman I wing. Field exploration, including a careful subsurface investigation, was completed before the onslaught of sub-zero weather. When the BSD facility designs were approved, construction contracts were awarded in time for groundbreaking in early spring of 1965. With an experienced contractor army engineer team to do the work, the construction of 50 new Minuteman launch silos and five launch control centers began on schedule. Six hundred fifty miles due east of Malmstrom, along the Canadian border, Wing 6, the nation's most advanced Minuteman base, is currently under construction at Grand Forks, North Dakota. With a complement of 150 Minuteman II launch silos and 15 control centers, Wing 6 spreads out over an area of 7,500 square miles. The launch complexes are linked by a thousand miles of intersite communications cable, a job which previously required 2,000 miles, and by a newly developed medium frequency ground wave transmission radio system, which provides an alternate command system for the missiles. Good progress has been made at Grand Forks during the report period. The construction of the Wing 6 launch silos and their blast-resistant control capsules goes on 50 feet below the Earth's surface and called for the removal of over 6 billion cubic yards of Earth, three times the excavation work required at the earlier Minuteman wings. A SATAF project to remodel this former SAGE building at Grand Forks has been completed. This facility now serves as SAC Minuteman Wing Headquarters. On March 15th, the construction phase of the first flight of 10 launch silos was completed and assembly, checkout, and equipment installation commenced. The work was accomplished on schedule. Even though operations were severely hampered by the area's worst winter, and the damaging effects of heavy spring flooding. These men know how to work around problems and deliver the goods. This time, theirs is a tall order, the construction turnover of all 15 Minuteman flights by the first quarter of 1966. Looking out across the great western test range from their firing line at Vandenberg, six other Wing 6 launch facilities were completed during the report period. These are test facilities which will flight test integrated Minuteman II launchers and missiles. The test program at Vandenberg will be completed before the operational sites at Malmstrom and Grand Forks are turned over to SAC. Construction of the test sites was scheduled for completion six months to one year ahead of the operational bases. This allows unforeseen problems to be solved at the test site before they show up at one of the operational wings. With the construction of Vandenberg Wing 6 test facilities completed in February, schedules call for the first test launch in August 1965, a flight which will prove out Minuteman II as a fully integrated weapon system. Concurrently, the Minuteman Force Modernization Program got underway at Vandenberg with the updating of two Minuteman I test sites. This huge follow-on program involving wings one through five will ultimately replace 800 Minuteman I ICBMs with the Minuteman II version of the missile. And the existing silos, launch control centers, and support equipment will be updated to accept the new bird.